In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We gather as one family around the table of the Lord, and as we celebrate the memorial of St. B. the Venerable, we ask for his intercession that we may truly live out the calling of our Christian life. And so let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who bring light to your church through the learning of the priest, St. Bede, mercifully grant that your servants may always be enlightened by his wisdom and helped by his merits. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Wishing to determine the truth about why Paul was being accused by the Jews, the commander freed him and ordered the chief priests and the whole Sanhedrin to convene. Then he brought Paul down and made him stand before them. Paul was aware that some were Sadducees and some Pharisees. So he called out before the Sanhedrin, my brothers, I am a Pharisee, the son of Pharisees. I am on trial for hope in the resurrection of the dead. When he said this, a dispute broke out between the Pharisees and the Sadducees, and the group became divided. For the Sadducees say that there is no resurrection or angels or spirits, while the Pharisees acknowledge all three. A great uproar occurred, and some scribes belonging to the Pharisees' party stood up and sharply argued. We find nothing wrong with this man. Suppose a spirit or an angel has spoken to him. The dispute was so serious that the commander afraid that Paul would be torn to pieces by them, ordered his troops to go down and rescue Paul from their midst and take him into the compound. The following night, the Lord stood, stood by him and said, Take courage, for just as you have borne witness to my cause in Jerusalem, so you must also bear witness in Rome. 
The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Keep me safe, O God. You are my hope. Keep me safe, O God. You are my hope. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, My Lord are you. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup. You it is who behold who hold fast my lot. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night, my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Therefore my heart is glad, and my soul rejoices. My body too abides in confidence, because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. Keep me safe, O God. You are my hope. Please stand. May they all be one, as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, that the world may believe that you sent me, says the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, I pray not only for these, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, so that they may all be one. As you, Father, are in me, and I in you, that they also may be in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. And I have given them the glory you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one, I in them and you in me, that they may be brought to perfection as one, that the world may know that you sent me and that you love them even as you loved me. Father, they are your gift to me. I wish that where I am, they also may be with me, that they may see my glory that you gave me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world also does not know you, but I know you, and they know that you sent me. I made known to them your name, and I will make it known that the love with which you love me may be in them and I in them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. We easily associate oneness with unity. 
sa Tagalog ho kasi madaling maintindihan niya. No? Isa, nagkakaisa, pagkakaisa. Laging may salitang isa. That's why we easily describe unity with oneness. We say that we are one, then we can also say we are united. Or we can say we are united if we are one in mind, one heart, one in motivation, one in desire, and so forth. That's why a team would always be reminded of their goal so that all their actions will be united in achieving that goal. May mga team building para makita yung direksyon ng isang team. Makita kung ano yung ninanais ng isang kupunan. If they have that one goal in mind, they will be setting their action plan in pursuing that goal. Or sometimes, communities would strengthen that unity, would strengthen, would build up that team so that their unity, that their unity, and, that their unity will be strengthened and again, reminding them of one goal that they would want to achieve. In our gospel, we hear the prayer of Jesus that all may be one as the Father is in Jesus and Jesus is in the Father. It does not only describe the oneness of the Father and the Son, but also the desire of Jesus for his disciples. But the oneness of Jesus and the Father is not just being of one heart and one mind. It is not just having the same goal. When people say to us, I am with you in spirit, I am one with you in spirit, it is also another way of saying, I cannot make it. Hindi ako makakapunta. I will just be one with you in spirit. And that is another kind of oneness that Jesus is praying for his disciples. When Jesus says that he and the Father is one, he is also saying that he is the concrete presence of the Father. And when he prays that his disciples will also be one in him, it is also a prayer that his disciples will now be his concrete presence in the world. As the Father, as, the, as Jesus is the concrete presence of the Father in the world, now it is the turn of the disciples to be the concrete presence of Jesus in the world. Oneness would not just mean unity. Oneness would also mean presence. Sa panahon ho natin ngayon, no? yung physical presence can now be substituted with cyber presence. No? Salamat sa teknolohiya, kahit yung mga nasa malayo, napapalapit dahil may mga video call, may mga online streaming. Salamat sa internet, kahit yung matagal na sulat na maaring mapadala, napapabilis. But in our Christian life, physical presence can never be substituted by any cyber presence. Because Jesus did not leave us any cyber presence, but His real presence in the Eucharist. Hindi natin pwedeng sabihin na natanggap pa rin natin ang Eucharistia kahit nakikita lang natin ito sa monitor, kahit nakikita lang natin ito sa TV. Kaya nga, patuloy ang paanyaya pa rin sa atin na habang lumuluwang, habang gumagaan ng sitwasyon ng pandemya, ay inaanyayahan tayong bumalik sa pisikal na presensya ng Eucharistia. Because real presence, the real presence of Jesus, the real presence of the Eucharist can never be substituted by any cyber presence. And as we bear the name of Christian, may we truly live up to that name by being the presence of Jesus, by our own physical words and physical actions. Kung hindi mapapalitan o hindi mapapantayan 
ng cyber presence ang real presence. Ganon din ang buhay natin bilang mga Kristiyano. Hindi natin pwedeng sabihin na pang cyber presence lang yung buhay ko. Kundi nakikita sa papaano natin isa sa buhay yung buhay pananampalataya. People will not just watch us through the cyber world. But Christian life will always be a method of encounter. And when people encounter us, then they will also see the real presence of Jesus by the way we live our Christian life. Please stand. Jesus prayed to the Father for unity. Waiting for the Pentecost, let us come to the Father and pray for the true unity among all his children. For every intention, we will say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That all members of the church may be one in heart and mind, in union with our Pope and our bishops. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the world may believe in Christ by the united example of Christians. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That all those baptized in Christ may be brought into the visible unity of the one church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That each family may be made one in faith and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dead may be called to perfect union with God forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we lift up to the Lord our personal intentions, remembering all the people are asking for our prayers and for all the people whom we promise to pray for. Holy Father, through these prayers, may all people be led to that Trinity which you share with the one you have loved before the foundation of the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we celebrate the divine mysteries, O Lord, we pray, may the Holy Spirit fill us with that light of faith by which he constantly enlightens Saint, Saint Bede for the spreading of your glory, through Christ our Lord. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as in the festival of St. Bede, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and answered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Bede, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I, I am, am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter, enter under, under, my under my roof, but only, but only say, the word, say the word, and, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Refreshed by heavenly food, we humbly implore you, O Lord, that attentive to the teaching of St. Bede, we may abide at all times in thanksgiving for the gifts we have received. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah.